people should watch Smash just because it's so unique. Like, it's a fighter, but there's not, nothing else in the world that's close to what it is. You can't even really imitate it. It's Everyone grew up and, like, played the game. Like, most people tell you they played Melee at some point, and they can relate to the characters. Like, there's Pokemon and Mario. So it's like, you can relate to it. Like, it's, it's like corny to say, but, like, it's an endless ceiling of how good you can be. You can be so, so good. And, like, every year our top players are getting better and better and better. And it's like, your goal is to play perfect, but it's impossible. You can't play perfect. So you're trying to reach a goal that's pretty much unattainable, but you're trying to get as close, as close as you can. And, like, when two really good people are fighting, it's like Dragon Ball Z. It's like, they're just doing all these crazy things. And, you know, it's a very fast-paced game. Like, pretty simple to understand. Knock them off the level. Oh, power shield there? Oh, we out oh, here. Oh, and oh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Our crowds, as you'll see probably tomorrow, they get really into it. Like, people just start yelling. People start making noises, like, out of nowhere. Like, people go nuts. And, like, something special about that. And I can't really, you have to just come to the, a tournament yourself and experience, like, things get pretty hype. Maneuvered, another crew battle taken home for SoCal. Oh, oh. Yo, did he just walk up slowly and down smash? <laughs> he did. Let's go, there it is. Is. And there it is, the up smash. And Mango has come all the way back. This time it hits, and we have our champion, Mango, first place here at Evolution. Uh, my name is Joseph Marquez. My gamer tag is Mango, professional Super Smash Brothers melee player. In the fifth grade when I was playing Counter-Strike at a LAN, I changed my name to I Want a Mango. And my friend just coincidentally called me Mango. He's like, oh, Mango. And then the next day at school, he's like, oh, Mango. And for some reason, it stuck. So I've been Mango even like before Melee. Like I just, my whole life, like more than half my life, I've been Mango. Smash means pretty much everything. Like I've been playing the game itself for like 13, since it came out. And I've been playing competitively up coming up on my 10 year anniversary. So like, it's just life. Like I grew up with it. So I started playing when I was like 14. I'm 24 now. It's so, like that whole, period of my life melee was a part of it so like to me it's just everything like it's just life like I don't I don't know anything else besides this game you know so I used to make Jigglypuff when I was 14 13 um, I just saw a combo video and I liked her played her picked her up um, got older and like Jigglypuff's more of a slow character and I, I play Fox Falco who are like the fastest characters in the game it's just more exciting to me more thrilling to be able to play them so that's what I play now well when I'm my motto I don't really have a motto I just kind of play nutty I guess like I play very, when I'm playing at my best, I'm very unpredictable because I just, I don't really ever go in with a game plan. I just kind of, I kind of just wing everything on the spot. So I'm always playing very reaction based. And it's like, when I'm playing my best, it's like, you don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't know what I'm gonna do until that second. That's like my biggest strength. That's kind of how I play. And I'll just do like random things. And like, it works because you know, if everyone's so used to the current meta and like these options that are so strong, it's like people are ready for that. So you have to like throw a little like loop and it's like, okay, I'm gonna do something completely random. Bam, it worked because you just weren't ready for it. So like, that's pretty much how I play, I'd say. Like, very on the spot and uh, unpredictable. Oh, he gets the shine. Oh my God! Oh my God! You've never seen that. To us, okay, esports to us, like we used to play like, so back in like 2010, we'd have a big tournament and it'd be like 200 people, whatever. And like first place was like $1,200. That was like, you know, like, let's go, 1200 bucks, like, and um, it's so nuts to us because we're so grassroots, we still are, we'll always have that with us, but like now we have like bigger pots and like all this is so new to us and uh, I think we're ha as a community handling it very well, like, so to us it's crazy, it's like, you know, five years ago we never, ex the game's almost died like three times, but like, I've been playing the whole time, like there's the people who just kept it together and like now here we are and it's, it's just nuts, like the fact that we've gotten this far and like, we show no signs of getting slower in growth. Like, it looks like we're just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. So, it's just, it's crazy to even think about. The legend? The one that you always miss on Yeah, yeah. Miss it. Miss it. Like, it's cool meeting right. someone, cause like, I'm a stream, I stream every day, like four to eight hours. And like, I get to know them, I hang out with them all day. And then you meet them, I'm like, who are you? He's like, oh, I'm this guy. And I'm like, dude, you've been sub for like a year and a half. And now you have a face. And like, now when I see you in chat, like, I'll be like, oh yeah, we met, you know, you got a wristband, cool. So I think it's really cool. I like giving them out, to especially the subs, so I can meet them, say, hey, you know, I appreciate the support. So that's really cool for me, like, just to see them be like, I actually really appreciate, you know, helping me out, supporting me. I mean, everyone knows, like, I love my fans, like, more than anyone, because um, I'm a big rock fan. So, you know, the people, it's all about the people, you know? You know, I have this tattoo of where I'm from, my city. I have America tattoos. Like, I just, 
love loving where you're from and it's like you know I love America that's where I grew up when it comes to other players like honestly America is like by far the best at this game we have like our competitive scene's a lot better they have pretty much two guys from Sweden who are really good and they're like rival us and beat us sometimes and uh, when something special when you're like playing them and then it just becomes like my country versus your country and, like to me that's so exciting and like it makes it more special and uh, so that's why I also love repping America because we're also competing with them and like obviously we want to take home the gold. So people always give me America stuff, which is cool. Someone just gave me this control. I have like a few of them and I put them in my trophy case just for show because usually they're not, they don't work very well. Like they're just for you know looks. But this one I played with it yesterday and uh, it's a great controller, so I'm gonna use it. So I got this guy right here. It's one of my characters I play. And then right here you got the goat. People call me the goat, so I had to get it tattooed before it changed. And then over here I got my homie Falco. So I got both my guys right here. I probably get more uh, Smash tattoos at some point. Just I might make this a whole sleeve for Smash. I don't know. I feel like Smash is so important to me. Like people are like, why'd you get, why'd you get video game characters? It's like, like it's actually been my life. It's so important to me. And like when I'm 50, I'm like, cool, yeah, you know, like I used to do that. And like, oh, my goals. Well, at least with Smash, like I've been playing 10 years. I feel like I've accomplished a lot of what I like. I've had a great career. I'm very happy with it. So you know, winning a national, like when everyone's there, like winning one of those is like the best feeling. It's like all the best players from around the world. So like I have a few of those and those are definitely like, those are like the Super Bowls, you know, you got all the best talent. And I have a few of those, that's always great. You're like happy for like three months straight, you know, like it's, that's great for sure. 99% of the people, I'm like, yo, what do you guys want to see? Mango Armada, Armada Grand Finals, Mango yo. Armada. It won't be, it's, it's only right. It's only right. It's Genesis 3. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah. So it's like I won the first time, you won the second time. And now we're here. And everybody, if you ask any Smash fan, they'll tell you that they want Mango Armada Grand Finals. Because this, this will be the tiebreaker, you know? And it's like so much history between me and him. If I could play him, I, I think it'd be really great for everyone. Like, the place will get so loud and crazy if I meet up with him.